she is. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Oh, we had to kick off the show with you. It's, it's such a treat. And uh, I was telling you before we got started, I had a friend of mine that was at the game. Uh, and I saw that moment where you're singing the national anthem before this last one. And it, it seemed, I know it can't get old for you because I know it is so powerful every time. But there was something special about that night. And of course, the crowd was singing along, you know, with you. Take us back to that night and from your perspective. Um, well, when I came in for sound check. Um, from the week prior, I had been dealing with a little bit of a bug, um, and I was just getting over that. And the bad part for me is when I have a bug, it always settles in my vocal cords. So I knew at sound check that how I scratchy I sounded um, when I would go up to the higher notes or whatever. So I said, you know what, this is a great opportunity to get um, our fans involved. I could have done it. I think I could have pulled it off, but I, it was so much better to hear everybody sing and it was so amazing. It, it made me have goosebumps. <laughs> Our fans are amazing. You know, I, I want to get your thoughts. And what I've been able to appreciate is to see the reaction when they carried the national anthem of you nationally, which from a uh, sports broadcasting thing, that's always a debate. And so props to you that they did carry that, especially there in the final few games. I'm curious, so people, as they get to know more about your background and realize that you yourself are a veteran, you are able to bring so much passion to what the national anthem means. I just went to your Facebook page. I mean, people are still sending you videos of yourself singing and <laughs> pictures of yourself singing. I mean, you've got to be one of the most recognizable people these days. Players, you know, they got the mask on. You are out there. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and the blue hair kind of gives it away. So, <laughs> What has it been like for you, though? Because you really are becoming such a fixture of this community yeah. and a fixture for something that you are so passionate about, such as the national anthem and the lightning. It's been amazing. Um, the one thing I can't do anymore is go out looking like a bum because people <laughs> see me and recognize me and they want to take a photo. And I'm like, gosh, I can't go out in a ponytail and sweats anymore, ever. <laughs> no. Hey, I was talking to you. My daughter uh, just started piano lessons. Any advice you have for the kids that are watching and falling in love, uh, not only with the sport, but then with you singing as well and the meaning behind it? And uh, what is it your, you know, your advice kind of and, and what your track was and maybe what you you could encourage others to do? Well, music is a universal language. And the more you can learn about music, the better. I had an opportunity to take uh, piano lessons and a few other types of lessons for instruments when I was younger. And I was a little too hard headed to stick with it. So if you're if you have the opportunity to take lessons and learn about music, please do that because I still don't read music. I can I can get along, you know, as far as music is concerned, if someone tells me a key or something like that. But the more you know, the better you can be. Aww. One of the things, I think there's so many different facets to you. And of course, I already touched on the fact that you are a veteran. Of course, we know you through the lightning now, but you are also a multiple sclerosis warrior, as I believe we put it in the past. I do want to mention, though, before we say goodbye, your work in that community and how you're always trying to raise awareness. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? Absolutely. Um, multiple sclerosis isn't something that goes away. It's something that's going to be with me for the rest of my life. And for the people that have it, there's different variations of how it affects those people. Some people are, you know, at a point where they can't walk and the other people are like me where they're walking around, but I have my bad days. So what I like to do is to raise money as much as possible for the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation, or excuse me, Multiple Sclerosis Society. Um, and by that, we have done um, a T-shirt, 1771 Designs over in St. Pete, have done a T-shirt where if you purchase that T-shirt, all of the proceeds go to the Multiple Sclerosis um, Society here locally. So that has been a wonderful thing, and people have bought tons and tons of those shirts, and it's been amazing. Hey, have fun at the boat parade. Whatever yes, you make the parade. We'll look for you, okay? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Mwah. All right, before we go to break, I have to do a little quick shout out, Natalie. Look at this cute baby. This is four month old Fletcher, a friend of mine. Uh, can you believe this? Probably one of the youngest Lightning fans that was there at the championship game. <laughs> Lucky him. Well, we've got more bold fun on the other side of the break.